Right, folks, welcome back to the Dawn's channel. I am the Dawn Father, and I've got a, what I hope will be a, a real treat for all you Aussies AFL fanatics out there. This will be a trip down memory lane. I hope some good memories for some, maybe some memories that are not so good if you're the, on the receiving end of it. Um, however, this is loudest AFL crowd moments. It's the first video, actually, it's a, a select series of videos. Um, this um, YouTubers posted, so I might look into doing the other ones as well. This was actually suggested today, actually, I think, or yesterday for me to check it out, so I'm looking forward to it, actually. Um, and also, I love watching old footage anyway, so it'll be um, pretty enjoyable for that alone, never mind the crowd noises. Um, so, anyway, what do you say we just get straight into it? The link to the original video before I go on uh, will be in the description section below. Don't forget to subscribe, put the bell on and leave a few thumbs up. That always does help. Thanks very much. No more talking then. Let's go. Taylor Ablett spills on the cluggage. Couldn't spin his way clear for about a third time in this quarter. McStay, the milestone man. Rich fumbles it back towards Witherden. Another entry. Oh, the big oh, a mark. Wow! From the heavens above, he came. What a match! Listen to the crowd, they're going well, they appreciated that. Well, you think back to the miracle on grass, it was the milestone game, McGrath, with the winner after the siren in game 200. Now game number 50, and it's all been worth the ride for Lincoln McCarthy! Great goal, great team actually the Lions, I must admit, this last two years I've fallen the footy, last year and this year, sorry, I've really enjoyed watching them, powerful team, loads of talent. Bouncing ball, it was touched off the boot, McStay in game number 100, to McCluggage, and they're going to win at Brisbane, final seconds ticking down, the Gabba is about to go off. And the Gabba, the cauldron, a great place for footy. Brisbane. Oh, my Fantasia, you've been missing all day. Laverde in the square. Pulse is racing everywhere. Watch that man there. Anthony McDonald tipping away. What a goal. What a moment. I remember that as well. Seen it before. Brilliant. And he wins it in the final kick of the game. No, not the final kick, but... Wow! Listen to that mighty roar. Andy McDonald tipping, what he's playing for you. Yeah. He's coming to get you! He's coming to get you! Four seconds to go. Wow. Huge follow on both teams have. Richmond and of course the West Coast Eagles, two massively back clubs. Passionate fan bases. Poor Adelaide against the Crows. The showdown at the Adelaide Oval. And Port Adelaide win in somewhat spectacular fashion, only by five points. An incredible game that looked like 95 90. Hopper slides in, Ice copped it up to Cotchen, back to Caddy, Caddy to Brandon Ellis, he's pushed down from defence, little strange toe. Don't you just miss the crowds at the footy, the hearing the noise. Look at that, all the flies going up, the arms going up, limbs everywhere. If he's got, if he's got the legs, he can run around, remember he's got 10 metres Bruce, he can run around a fair way. Hollywood for the lead. Hasn't happened. Still a chance. Oh, he took it so fast there on the half volley. Bump. Was it Grundy? Yeah, I think it was Brody Grundy actually. It looked like his hair and his long leg. 
87, 86, four seconds to go. Collingwood Richmond, big Melbourne rivalry that. Two huge clubs, powerhouses of the game. Essendon Collingwood, the two teams obviously famous for the Anzac Day fixture. And Essendon do it. Great goal. 30 minutes on the clock, fourth quarter. Surely that's it done. David Zaharakis. Look at the crowd. I'm not actually sure was that an Anzac Day one. I can't see the puppies on the, the Guernsey. I'm presuming it's not. Brilliant, don't you just love to see after siren goals or goals just at the bitter end. Clawing your way back in, adding to the drama and the emotion. And that's what lifts the crowd that little bit more. Essendon by five. Counting this, it's 125, 122. We've not seen anything like that. There's Brendan Favola, one of my favorite players that I've covered. Uh, you. Right there. Sydney behind by three. Here he's through the crowd. Bang! Here's a goal. Look at the crowd going absolutely mental. Wow. I'll tell you what, I think it's at the SCG that one. Listen to the noise, that is fantastic. There's something so good about that, let me tell you. Grabbing it with oh, the jaws of the feet. Boom. Stop it. Here comes the boss, baby. Banging and banging. Look at that. Look at the crowd. Thanks for watching. What a video. Look at the scene as well. Wow, I absolutely love that and I'll tell you what, from watching the footy so far in 2020 you don't realise just how incredible it is, those little moments. We might even see moments like that in 2020 all being well but in terms of like those goals, the last minute goals when you're trailing right at the bitter end and you get that goal to go out and eventually win the game and uh, the crowd living the moment with you is spectacular you don't realize how much you miss it particularly for people i can't speak for myself here but i've never been to the games obviously i'm watching it on the tv one second sorry watching it on the tv um but that same atmosphere that you're getting there with a genuine crowd living that moment with the players feeling the emotion and the drama of it all like Anthony T uh, McDonald tipping Whitty's one. You've seen other ones from the past there as well. Really good moments. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Remember the Gabba really well. Last year was absolutely rocking. Brisbane went on such a run. The Lions, I think, managed about eight wins in a row. Um, I think they were second in the ladder before they got finals footy after behind Geelong. They were incredible. I think you've seen a moment there as well. Was it Richmond Giants with the MCG obviously um, grand final 2019 incredible Richmond performance on the day um, but so many moments Essendon Collingwood is a huge fixture regardless if it's Anzac Day but there's something about that Anzac Day the ones that I've watched my own in my own personal time watch the highlights so there's something about that fixture I just absolutely love of course being a veteran myself um, and seeing the respect that the AFL and the players and the fans give to their their their, their veterans, their serving soldiers, to the, the those who aren't with us anymore. It's just something about that. I really love that day and the, what Collingwood and Essendon do. It's fantastic to see. Uh, and it's played in the greatest of spirits as well. Of course, Essendon and Collingwood have just played each other. Essendon's ran out victorious. 2020, though, we've seen a bit of a crowd today. Um, Collingwood versus... Um, Geelong at the Optus Stadium in Perth. It's fantastic to see, I think, 22, 23,000 people in attendance, which by rights in any given year wouldn't be a great 
uh, attendance for uh, by AFL standards because they're getting huge crowds in some games um, throughout the calendar, uh, throughout the ladder, um, but throughout the season I should say, sorry, um, but obviously with everything that's been going on, that is an incredible sight to see, genuine fans at the games, enjoying the moments, getting up and celebrating, no matter who it is or who's winning or who's scoring goals, I'm enjoying watching and getting uh, the chance to see people enjoying uh, supporting their team, it really does um, seem like we're getting <laughs> it's just good to see, it's good for the spirits, it's good for the people getting to go first and foremost but as a, as a neutral getting to watch it on the TV and seeing them enjoying the moment um, it's just fantastic as well. Thanks very much for watching everyone, I really enjoyed that, really did enjoy it. Some of the noise in the videos was just incredible. Even the smaller grounds like not even just the MCG when you seen the, I think it was Sydney game, the SCG where it's just erupted, that was fantastic moment as well to see that, the noise in that was incredible some fantastic footy stadiums, of course they're cricket grounds as well, but some fantastic stadiums down under and the passionate fan bases that they have throughout the league is incredible. The noise that they generate on these big days is fantastic. The MCG, the noise that it can have when it is truly rocking, two big teams going at it, 100,000 strong, Boom! The noise that can be generated there and of course the show down there, Port Adelaide and um, Adelaide Crows. I think that was a very tight game, 95-90 Port ran out victors on that particular one uh, and the noise was magic there in South Australia as well. So just fantastic. Really enjoyed the video, I hope you did as well. I will possibly do uh, the video number two purely because it's great seeing the crowd, you know what I mean? Uh, hopefully that will make a put a smile on other people's faces as well. And those little clips, little moments in time that you might have loved it's your team that's had, uh, uh, take you back down memory lane if you like, from uh, better moments that your team might have experienced as well. So stay tuned for that, I'm, I'm, I think I will do it, I think I'm gonna. The link to the original video folks, as I've already said, will be in the description section below, as well all of our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and our Patreon. I'd love it if you could be, become a Patreon if you can afford to do so. It really will help the channel improve in terms of quality and also fund our trip down under um, to do our AFL vlogging trip as a channel, as a family. And if you don't want to sign up to nothing, We've got a donate page, donate, get us to us, just throw in a little donation, small as you like, it will all help to fund in, uh, the trip down under whenever we can do so, whenever it's safe and we can afford to do so, we will be doing it. Thanks very much everyone, I am the Dawn Father, that was loudest AFL crowd moments that I've thoroughly enjoyed covering, I hope you did too. I'll see you all soon, goodbye.